In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the provided cards to complete the activity for the farmer's market. And this activity is going to be an introduction into unit analysis where we change one unit of measurement into another. For example, if I want to change yards into inches. Suppose I want to make a trade with the local farmer. I would like to trade 21 ears of corn for some tomatoes. My farmer friend John tells me that for every three ears of corn, he will trade me four tomatoes. This is called a conversion factor and I can write it in two ways. I can write that three ears of corn is to four tomatoes or I can say four tomatoes is to three ears of corn. Either way, we're showing a, an equivalence between three ears of corn and four tomatoes. So if we're comparing this to units that we're more familiar with, I can write a conversion factor where I can put 12 inches on the top is equivalent to one foot in the denominator, or I can write one foot in the numerator and write 12 inches in the denominator. A conversion factor is a fraction we use to change one set of units into another set of units by multiplication. To use conversion factors, we're going to first review multiplication of fractions. For example, if I want to multiply 36 over 15 times 5 6, what we're going to do first is we're going to break down the fraction, the numerator and the denominator, into its prime factors. So 36 can be written as 6 times 6, which is 2 times 3 times 2 times 3. And in the denominator, I can write 15 as 3 times 5. So in the second fraction, in the numerator, 5, that's already written as uh, the product of prime numbers. But the denominator of that second fraction, 6, can be written as 2 times 3. Once we factor all of our numbers in both the denominator and the numerator, what we're going to do is anything that is the same on the top and the bottom, we can get rid of because when we have a fraction that has the same number on the top and the bottom, it's equivalent to 1. And when you multiply anything by 1, you get the same value. So it's extra stuff that we don't need. So basically, we're just going to get rid of anything that's the same on the top and the bottom. So I'm going to get rid of that 2 on the top of the first fraction, and I'm going to cross it off with the 2 on the bottom of the second fraction. Now I can cross these off as long as I'm making the same cancellation across the top and across the bottom. I can get rid of a 3 on the bottom and a 3 on the top. I can get rid of a 5 on the bottom and a 5 on the top. I can get rid of a 3 on the top and then a 3 on the bottom. And then we've gotten rid of everything that we have the same on the top and the bottom. What's left is 2 over 1, which we can write as 2. So the product of 36 over 15 times 5 over 6 is 2. Now we're going to use the same procedure when we're converting Unix. We're going to use the idea of cancellation on the top and the bottom to convert our Unix. So get your cards ready and we're going to go through our first example. We want to trade 21 ears of corn for some tomatoes. So we're always start with what you know. I have 21 ears of corn and since we want to be consistent and keep everything in fraction form, I'm going to write 21 ears of corn over 1. And we're going to multiply that by some conversion factor so that we can exchange ears of corn for tomatoes. So I'm going to place one of my cards down that has ears of corn in the conversion factor. However, if you notice, ears of corn here on the first fraction on the left is in the top. And on the second fraction, ears of corn is also on the top. So I cannot cancel ears of corn and swap it for tomatoes here. This doesn't work. In order to cancel the Unix ears of corn, it has to be on the top and on the bottom. So now we're going to try a different conversion factor. Instead of using three ears of corn on the top and four tomatoes on the bottom, we're going to use a conversion where we have four tomatoes on top and three ears of corn on the bottom. So again, let's start with what we have. 
21 ears of corn over 1, but this time I'm flipping my conversion factor so that it does work. I want to change ears of corn into tomatoes. So now I can get rid of ears of corn because I have ears of corn on the top and ears of corn on the bottom. So when I get rid of those, what I have left on the top is 21 times 4 tomatoes, and on the bottom I have 1 times 3, which is 3. I can rewrite 21 as 3 times 7, cross off my 3's, and I'm left with 7 times 4 tomatoes, which is 28 tomatoes. Now another way that I could have done this is just directly in my calculator did 21 times 4 and then divided by 3 and I would have still gotten 28. Sometimes we're going to need more than one conversion factor. Here's an example. I want to see how many apples I can get for 10 potatoes. So we always start with what we know. We have 10 potatoes and I'm going to write it as a fraction, 10 potatoes over 1. Now I want to find a card that has potatoes and apples. We don't have a conversion factor that goes directly from potatoes to apples if you look through your cards. So I'm just going to find any card that has potatoes. And I found a card that has tomatoes and potatoes. Because I want potatoes to disappear and I want to cross them off, I want to make sure I pick the conversion factor that has potatoes in the denominator so I can cross them off. Now I'm going to pick another conversion factor because we don't have one that goes directly from potatoes to apples, but we do have one that goes from tomatoes to apples. So then I'm going to use that conversion factor now. And I want to make sure I pick the conversion factor that has tomatoes in the denominator because in the second fraction I have tomatoes on the top. So when I put my third card down, I want to make sure that tomatoes is in the bottom so I can cancel them and I'm left with just apples. So if I start canceling, I'm going to cross off my potatoes. I'm going to cross off my tomatoes. And what I have left is apples. Now, if I had apples in the denominator, that won't work. We have to make sure whatever we're trying to convert to is in the numerator. So what's left on the top is 10 times 1 times 3 apples. What's left on the bottom is 1 times 2 times 5. When I multiply that on my calculator, I get 10 times 1 times 3 is 30 apples on top. And then on the bottom, I have 1 times 2 times 5, which is 10 on the bottom. And then when I take 30 divided by 10, I get 3. So I'm left with 3 apples. So this tells me I can trade Farmer John 10 potatoes for 3 apples. Last example, we have one with 3 conversion factors. So it basically comes down to just moving your cards around so that you have puzzle pieces that line up and you end up with the units that you want in the numerator when everything else is canceled. I want to see how many apples I can get for 200 zucchini. If you look at your cards, I don't see any direct relationship between zucchini and apples. So I have to go through a series of conversion factors to figure it out. We always start with what we know. We start with 200 zucchinis, and because we want to keep it in the fraction format, I'm going to put it over 1. I want to find a conversion card that has zucchinis in the denominator so that I can cancel zucchinis. So I pick 2 ears of corn with 7 zucchinis in the denominator. Now I want to pick another conversion factor that has two ears of corn, but I want to make sure I have two ears of corn in the denominator so that I can cancel. So I picked four tomatoes is, will give me three ears of corn. Our last conversion factor, we can use the relationship between tomatoes and apples. I want to make sure that I pick the conversion factor that has tomatoes in the denominator and apples in the numerator. Whatever you're trying to convert to, you want to make sure that that's in the numerator. 
So I picked the conversion factor, three apples over five tomatoes. It now looks like a puzzle. We put it together, we put the pieces together in a way that I can cross off all my eunuchs, top to bottom. I'm gonna cross off zucchinis, cross off ears of corn, cross off tomatoes, and what I'm left with is apples. So now it's just time to do the arithmetic. So on top, I have 200 times 2 times 4 times 3, and I'm left with apples. On the bottom, I have 1 times 7 times 3 times 5. When I put that in on the calculator, I'm going to put 200 times 2 times 4 times 3, and then I'm going to divide by 1 times 7 times 3 times 5. If you decide to do that in your calculator all at once, be sure to put parentheses around the numerator and the denominator, so that way the calculator knows what's in the numerator and the denominator, and it does the order of operations properly. When you put that in your calculator, you get 45.741428 apples. Now you can't trade a portion of an apple, so you just want to round to the nearest apple. So we're going to round to 46 apples. So when you're doing this activity, print off your cards and cut them out and just use them as puzzle pieces to arrange them so that you can cancel out the Unix that you want to get rid of and keep the Unix that you're trying to strive for. Sometimes you're going to need more than one conversion factor and sometimes you might only need one. It just depends on what uh, cards you have and what the question is asking.